And welcome back to the Moldy Worm Game Channel. My name is Moldy Worm41975, and today I want to go over the unreleased vehicles that we have in the Cayo Perico heist. There's quite a few of them, so I want to cover them all today and show you some images um, that XXII has found and taken, and also Mr. Foxy Snaps has found how much they will cost on the in game website. So, shout out goes to both of those people. I'll leave a link in the description to their channels if you want to check them out. Um, but we're going to be looking at some screenshots of the vehicles, seeing how much they'll cost and also which website they'll be on. So let's just get started straight away with the legendary motorsports website. And we only have one new supercar on here. And it is called the Grotti Itali RSX. And you can see here it's a pretty nice looking vehicle to be honest. And the price of this one, the trade price is 2.5 million. The buy it now price is 3.4 million. So one of the most expensive supercars we have received so far. A pretty nice looking supercar though. You can see it there from a few different angles. And I have to say the thing I most like about this vehicle is the new rims. They look absolutely fabulous. And I hope that Rockstar continue to add stock wheels to the wheel category. So we can apply these wheels and some of the other cars. But looks absolutely beautiful there. Then we move over to the Southern San Andreas Super Sport Series website. I think that's what it's called. I can't remember exactly. And we have five new vehicles on here. So the first one that we're going to be receiving is this one right here. And it's called the Dinka Vetcar Classic. And it looks absolutely awesome. You can see it from a few different angles there. Looks pretty nice. And this one's going to be close to 900 grand. It's at 8.900 grand. So uh, $895,000. Um, so quite expensive for a little go-kart. But a really cool looking go-kart. And then the next one that's going to be released is the Dinka Vito Modern. Um, so this is a modern go-kart, uh, kind of looks a little bit different there, you can see it again from a few different angles. This one's going to be slightly more expensive, this is nearly $1 million. Um, so it's $995,000. Um, and personally I don't like the look of this one as much as the classic, I think the, the classic go-kart looks a little bit nicer. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down there below. So the next car we have is the BF Weevil, based on a classic Beetle, as you can see there. And I've been asking for this vehicle for absolutely ages, so it's nice to see that we're finally getting a classic Beetle in-game. And this one is also fairly decently priced, it's pretty cheap as well. The trade price is um, 650000 the buy it now price is 870000 which is not too bad in today's GTA on a GTA economy and it does have some awesome customization as well Now the next one is definitely my favorite vehicle from this update I absolutely can't wait for this thing to be released and of course it is the vapid slam truck This thing looks absolutely awesome. They've kind of rejigged the vapid slam van and made it into this um, flatbed carrying slam truck and this thing is going to cost 1.3 million, so not too bad um, considering what you are getting from this. But you can see it from a few different angles there. It does seem to have like a cargo ramp on there with a bit of a winch hooked on the back. So I kind of wonder whether we will be able to sort of secure vehicles on the back of this and um, like haul vehicles around. Because if you can't, then it's kind of useless. But it does look absolutely awesome. And um, it looks pretty low as well. Me and my friend were wondering whether it might have the air ride suspension thing. Hopefully it doesn't have the automatic air ride suspension because that's really annoying. But if it has hydraulics on it and you can lift it up and down manually, that would be really, really cool. 
And the last vehicle we have on this website is also one of my favourites. This thing looks really cool and really cute as well. It is the Grotti Brioso Retro and obviously based on a classic Fiat 500. And it looks absolutely awesome. You can see it from a few different angles. This one is also fairly decently priced as well. One of the cheaper vehicles in this update. The trade price will be $450,000 uh, $450, sorry, and the buy it now price is $610,000. So pretty cheap to be honest for this vehicle. And again, this one has some awesome customization and I am going to be checking it out as soon as it releases. Then we move over to the Warstock Cash and Carry website and we have five new vehicles on here. Starting it off with the brand new Manchester Scout motorcycle and this thing is actually really cool. We saw this in my live stream earlier today and um, I have to say it's a really nice vehicle to drive around in. It's pretty nippy, it pulls awesome wheelies and it has a lot of cool customization available for it. And it's fairly decently priced as well. This one is only 225 grand, so not that expensive in today's GTA economy. And it's a cool classic motorcycle. Then we have kind of a weird looking truck in the lineup, and this one is called the Vitea. Um, it's kind of like a classic barracks, it looks kind of to me like a barracks classic. But it is called the Vitea, and this one is going to have a uh, trade price of 1.2 million and a buy it now price of 1.6 million. But I'm kind of wondering what the purpose of this thing is because it looks a little bit weird. I mean, there's not much purpose for the barracks in game, and I also don't know whether this thing will be customizable because it is a big vehicle. So I don't think we'll be able to take this one to LSC, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, kind of an interesting truck. I'm going to be buying it and customizing it, but probably not going to be staying in my garage for very long. Now the next one is kind of an old vehicle in GT Online. This has actually been in the game since launch. It has only just become available though, and that is the Mammoth Squaddy. Now, as I said, this has actually been in the game since launch, but it is cut content. So Rockstar intended to release this with the release of the game, but for whatever reason it got cut, and now they have finally decided to release it to all of us. The price on this one is going to be 1.1 million, so not too expensive, and it is on the Warsaw Cash and Carry website, so no doubt there'll be some weaponizable options for this. But is a fan favourite among the GTA community. We've been wanting this vehicle for a long time and we are now finally getting it. So it has quite a bit of hype around it. It looks pretty cool as well, I have to say. It's kind of like a military version of the Hummer. And it looks like it has a bit of seating area there on the back so you can take some of your friends off-roading. Now the next vehicle, I don't really have a photo of this one, but we did see it in the trailer, and that is the new weaponized dinghy. And this one is going to have a price of 1.8 million, it can carry up to 4 people, and it has that mounted 50 cal on the front there. And you can also find this one dotted around the island on Cayo Perico. And it's a pretty cool looking boat, it's basically just a dinghy with a gun on the front. And the last vehicle we're going to be taking a look at today, probably my least favourite vehicle from this update, but it is coming in this update, so I'm covering it, and that is the Dinka Verus. And this one is kind of a bit pointless to me, it's just another quad bike. I mean, if it has some decent customization, then it will be pretty cool. And it is pretty cheap as well, it's only $200,000, so it's one of the cheaper vehicles in this update. But I don't really see much purpose for this thing. It's kind of just another quad bike. We already have quite a few quad bikes in the game. And I hardly ever see people riding around on those. So, I mean, it's a nice addition if you're into quad bikes. But personally, not really a fan of this one. But it is on the Warsaw Cash and Carry website. So I'm wondering if it is weaponizable. But my guess is probably not. 
So that is going to do it for the lineup today of the unreleased vehicles coming in the Cayo Perico heist. Let me know down in the comment section what your favourite vehicle is. Personally, mine is the Slam Truck. I can't wait for that thing. But I do like the classic Fiat 500 as well. That looks absolutely awesome. But as soon as these vehicles do release, I will be checking them out and customising them here on the channel. So if you want to see some customization of those vehicles, make sure you subscribe. And if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate you dropping a like and share it with your friends. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.